Hey guys, I'm Asher. Today's video will be about a couple of short stories. The first scene is about a curious dream Bell had about what his life would be like five years in the future. The second story will be about a funny scene where Hestia is forced to work with eyes. By the way, as a precaution, I have created a secondary channel, so please subscribe to that channel as well. Also, if you like my videos and want to help the channel, you can do it on Patreon or by becoming a member here on YouTube, the links will be in the description. But well, without anything else to say, let's get started. Oh, this is. I looked around. It was an elegant room that was based on the color white. The place is unfamiliar to me, I noticed that I'm also wearing a white tuxedo. I spaced out for a moment, however. Bell? Is something wrong? Seeing her wearing a beautiful pure white dress, and holding a bouquet of bright flowers, I smiled. Hmm. That's right. I'm finally. Yes. I'm about to get married. On this very day, five years after I first met her. Clang, clang. Sound the car yawn. You could see a blue sky outside the window and the birds flew off, leaving behind some feathers. It's as if the world is giving us its blessing. It wouldn't be long until we say our vows. I faced her in the room of the chapel we were waiting in. A white wedding dress, the veil covering the face is shaking slightly. In response to the eyes narrowing behind the thin cloth, I laughed back. Let me say it again. I'm about to get married. I'm about to get married with this beautiful and lovely girl that I've always yearned for. With the golden-haired golden-eyed girl in front of me. Hey. I won't let you. Huh? However, Kami-sama, who'd kicked open the door to the room with tremendous force, appeared before us. Belkum. Why are you two in such a good mood together? Got us? After I got over the surprise of her appearance and almost going mad over it, my eyes widened. Believe it or not, Kami-sama was also wearing a wedding dress just like her. What's with that outfit? Please take a hint. No. I obviously won't allow you two to be happy together. What? Are you the devil? I know it was disrespectful, but I couldn't stop myself from raising my voice. Kami-sama then proceeded to forcefully separate her from me, as if she was tackling someone. In addition, she put my arm between her well-endowed breasts and fiercely clung to me, just like a koala. Seeing that she had a sorrowful expression, I immediately tried to separate myself from Kami-sama, however. Are you going to give us the cold shoulder and leave us be? I stopped moving upon hearing her words. Wait, us? I slowly raised my head. Behind the angry Hestia, and past the open doorway was. Velsama. I won't allow you to play favorites. Didn't you say you loved me, Velkun? Hee hee, Velsan's wife. In order for you to have a clean relationship with Seer, I'll be joining you. I don't mind being your mistress, as long as you let me be by your side. You're too soft, what you should do is drag him into bed, and have sex with him. Oh, I'm first, right? Argonaut-kun, let me join you too. Eyes, and now Tiona, I've got to watch them. I can enjoy the boys behind whenever I want from now on. I want to fulfill my happiness with you instead of my prophecies. Why me too? Bell. We'll always be together. I want to be embraced by the human I love. Q. I love you, Bell. I guess it can't be helped, I'll always be by your side. He he he. Come Bell Kuhn, let's get married. Let's have another battle. Huh? A golden yellow haired elf, Ray, Arl, Marie, moored wearing a wedding suit for some reason, a giant frog like woman wearing a stretched out dress, a bloodshot sun god, and a heroine that stood out with its blood stained double bladed battle axe. Huh? I woke up to the sounds of birds chirping. I was frozen in place with my upper body straight up, and my body covered in sweat. Hmm. A dream. I don't remember much of it but I remember that I was more horrified than I was happy. Five years, ten years, or maybe even twenty years later, what will the future have in store for me? I tried not to think about it, 
as I got up and unsteadily made my way out of the room. I pretended to not see my grandfather giving me a thumbs up, with a smile at the end of the dream. The Northern Main Street, Jagamarukun Stand Hello! I'd like a Jagamarukun. Hestia made an unpleasant face to the golden-haired eyes standing in front of her. How many times have you come here? Hestia complained in her mind. In fact, ever since she had visited the stand with Belle during their training, she often came by to buy Jagamarukun. Welcome! What's your order? I'd like one Azuki cream flavor. She asked her rudely, but eyes replied nonetheless. You sure know your stuff. Hestia thought, as she handed her a freshly made Jagamarukun favored by experts. Eyes immediately opened her small mouth and began eating. Her beautiful yet cute appearance, began to draw the gazes of the male demi-humans in the area. This feels unfair. Hestia thought to herself. Hestia-chan, it's a disaster, a disaster. A voice similar to a shout reached her ears. When she looked, her co-worker that had been gone, came back hurriedly. When she asked what happened. Apparently the Jagamarukun stand in the east, misheard an order and accidentally made a large amount of Jagamarukun. We'll be in the red, if we don't sell 1000 of them here. What did you say? As she gave a cry of despair, the cart that held the extra Jagamarukun, came rushing to the stand. After thinking for a few moments, Hestia turned to eyes, who had a puzzled look on her face. Wall and what shit, you have to help. Thank you for your order. Give me 10. No. 20 Jagamarukun. Give me 50 here. Is this the store where eyes is giving out Jagamarukun? Give me a smile eyes. A long line stretched from the stand. Seemingly hearing that eyes was working as a sales girl, not only to me humans, but also male gods came to the stand from across the city. What's this feeling of defeat? Hestia thought while stricken, even though she had decided to focus on profits rather than fame. That girl's pretty good. Since it's come down to this, why don't we have her work here? Please don't, boss. And well, that was all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it please leave a thumbs up, share the video and leave your opinion in the comments, I will be reading your opinions. Also join Discord, there we can talk about Don Machi and even other animes. The link is in the video description. Best regards and see you next time.